How does a herder get to the United States? There are a lot of components to the H-2A program that the general public isn't aware of. Most people don't know that the ranch employer pays for the herder's inbound and outbound transportation, which means plane tickets to and from South America or Mexico. Well, you know, before they set, set foot on your ranch, um, you have, a, well, I, wanna, I think it's $550 for a visa application, um, and, and then travels usually, that usually costs anywhere from twelve to $1,400. So, you know, you can push costs of upwards to $2,000 before you, they spend one day with you on your operation. You have to have almost $2,000 worth of faith in these guys before they even work a day for you. While the H-2A program is an overall success, some ranch employers have been taken advantage of by unscrupulous individuals that use the program simply as a means to get a free plane ticket to the United States. These individuals abandon their sheep herding jobs within days or weeks of arriving in the U.S. They abandon their legal H-2A position to seek work in other occupations or to simply be with friends and family already in the United States. When a herder abandons his flock, the sheep are in imminent danger and the rancher is left footing the bill for an expensive out-of-country plane ticket as well as starting the arduous process of bringing another herder into the United States. Once a herder abandons his job, he is immediately considered an illegal alien. His work visa is specific to sheep herding and is not transferable to other occupations. It, it's become more and more difficult to bring me into the United States just because of, of what's happened. There's been some illegal uh, operations bringing men and, and providing fake visas and having these people pay them money to come. Therefore, through the legal process of which is an interview that shows that they, they, they know livestock, through a coordinator which Western Range has and through the consulate of Peru, uh, it's become more and more difficult to bring men from Peru. Mexico and Chile, not so bad, but because of the corruption that's gone on in Peru by Peruvians, uh, it's become very difficult. One of the problems that's come up, it, it has become rampant, I, I should say, the last few years, is that basically we are a plane ticket for some of these men to come to the United States, break their contract, leave the sheep, leave the operation in the middle of the night, and look for for employment elsewhere in the United States, the land of opportunity. The problem is because of our immigration uh, policies in the U.S. today, and there's no enforcement of the immigration laws, it, it, it's, it, it's, it happens more often than not. And it becomes very expensive because we, it costs us about $3,000 a man through the legal process to get certification, to get their visas, their interviews, their plane tickets here, uh, and subsistence. And so we, we have th around $3,000 a man invested before they even land in the United States or by the time they land in the United States. And so it, it's expensive for us, but it has become a real problem. I think we need some enforcement of our immigration laws as far as men leaving their jobs, as far as illegals working without a visa. And I think it would straighten things out. If a sheep herder abandons his job, uh, depending on the year or the time of the year, Obviously, there's no not a good time at all. Um, when you leave those sheep alone and you're on public lands and uh, we see our men probably every three or four days, but if he happens to leave the day you were there that evening, then those sheep are alone for three or four days and then you've got the predator problems, you've got uh, livestock protection uh, dogs that are there that need fed. Uh, animals are animals, they need to be taken care of. And uh, when these people leave in the middle of the night, it's an uh, absolutely hardship on, on mainly the animals and uh, obviously the, the operators also. So it, uh, it impacts our operations greatly. And with this program, it's not like, um, you know, if we have a worker leave uh, his, his herd and go, it's not like, um, you know, you can just go find, you know, anybody at the unemployment office to fulfill that job. You have to actually... Um, you know, either have the paperwork in line going already for somebody else to come over or you're going to be, uh, you know, a couple, three months waiting for a new individual to come over to, f to take that job.